the late Lolly Jackson, the man who made his millions from running a strip club, shot and killed execution style. It's a murder that shook the country's crime underworld. It also opened a can of worms, exposing alleged intricate dealings between top criminals and crime intelligence officers. And now that George Lucas has been arrested, police are hoping to tie up all the loose ends. It's likely to be quite a protracted process because in all probabilities he will oppose the application to be extradited to South Africa. But in terms of the legislative um, aspects of the matter and the evidential um, aspects of it, we are confident that eventually he will come and face the charges in South Africa. Earlier, Luca confessed to an intelligence officer that he'd murdered Jackson, then fled. His arrest may help police make sense of other top murders. In early 2010, a German car specialist disappeared shortly after landing in South Africa. His body was found later. Three months later, Lolly Jackson was shot dead. In March the following year, a Western Cape businessman and former bouncer, Cyril Beaker, was assassinated. A day later, during a raid by the Hawks, police found Beaker's name on an apparent hit list at Radovan Kretscher's house. Six months later, Jackson's protege, Mark Andrews, was shot dead. Two weeks after that, the bent body of Ian Jordan, a Jackson family lawyer, was found in his car. We're at a very sensitive stage of the investigation. Not much can be, be said at this point in time as far as um, uh, what his involvement is and uh, also if there were any other persons involved uh, in the murder of, of uh, Lolly Jackson. Until Luca makes an appearance in a South African court, little more will be known about the circumstances surrounding Jackson's death. Janjicha Uke, SABC News, Johannesburg.